Today I'd like you to turn to the section on confidence intervals. Please open up your study guide to the confidence intervals section. Let's begin by rating your confidence here on a scale of 0 to 100. What if I were to ask you the age of your English teacher within 10 years? Do you think you could get that value correct within 10 years? How confident are you? Go ahead and rate that on a scale from 0 to 100. What about if I asked you to rate your confidence on the age of your English teacher within five years? How about if I asked you the age of your English teacher within one year? What would your confidence level be for each one of those? Let's consider a different situation here. Rate your confidence at throwing a dart and hitting a small board five feet away. Now, Let's rate your confidence on throwing a dart and hitting a small board 15 feet away. And finally, what about your confidence in throwing a dart and hitting a small board 25 feet away? So notice that each one of these situations presented a different interval here. And as the interval became smaller and smaller, then your confidence definitely is going to go down in the first situation. Throwing a dart and hitting a small board uh, 5 feet versus 15 feet versus 25 feet away, once again your confidence level is going to go down. This introduces us to the concept of a point estimate. In our previous example, what happens to your confidence level as the interval gets smaller? When the interval gets smaller, your confidence level decreases. And we're going to study the concept of confidence intervals and give ourselves an idea of where a certain parameter lies based on sample data and sample statistics. And the smaller the interval, the less confidence we'll have because the more precise answer we'll probably have, one that's very close to what our idea is of the true parameter value. The larger your confidence, once again, the wider the interval. So if we want larger confidence attached to estimating population parameter values with known statistics that come from sample data, we're going to want our confidence intervals to be fairly wide. Here's the idea of a point estimate. A point estimate is basically a statistic based off sample data used to serve as an estimate of the true population parameter. This would be our best guess of what a true population parameter is, and we base this off the point estimate, which is the value of the statistic itself based off sample data from the population. So perhaps I'm trying to estimate the mean, mu, of the population, and I want to estimate the population parameter mu based on x bar, my sample data. Well, x bar would give me what we call a point estimate. Now, we could estimate other population parameters based off sample data statistics, but that one single value, once again, is called a point estimate. It is our best guess of what the true population parameter is all about. So a point estimate is the simplest approach we use to estimate a population parameter. In the construction of our confidence intervals, we'll find out that we begin with this point estimate. And from this point estimate, we want to build around it an interval so we can attach more confidence in capturing the true population parameter based on this initial starting point, our point estimate. Now, due to variation in the sampling distribution, a point estimate is not always a precise estimate. So if we had sample data that came from a population, and even if our sample was done appropriately, where we had a good sample that didn't involve any type of bias, then we could get a good idea of what the population parameters based on this point estimate. However, it is possible that we sampled extreme data and our point estimate may not be a good reflection or indication of the actual parameter value associated with the population itself. So due to this variation in the sampling distribution, it's not always a precise estimate. So we really don't want to put all of our weight into a single value coming off of sample data. Now this leads us to formulas for confidence intervals. With our point estimate, we're going to 